Hello everyone, this is Paul. Thank you for watching today. Today I'll be discussing the slope of a line. So the slope of a line is really just its rise divided by its run, or how fast it's changing in the y direction compared to how fast it's changing in the x direction. It's common in algebra to refer to the slope as the letter m. And m is equal to delta y divided by delta x, and delta simply means change. So let's say that we want to plot a line with a slope of two-thirds. So two is our change in y, and three is our change in x. So if we wanted to start at the origin, we could do that, and we could count up one, two units in the y direction, and then over one, two, three in the x direction. And then we just connect our line from the origin to that point, and we have our first segment of our line. We could do that one more time, count up 1, 2 in the y, and 1, 2, 3 in the x direction. And we extend our line a little further. So we could also rewrite 2 thirds as negative 2 divided by negative 3, because this is simply just negative 1 times 2 over negative 1 times 3, and negative 1 divided by negative 1 is simply 1, so it brings us back to 2 thirds. So if we think of the slope 2 thirds in this sense, we could start here and count down negative 1, negative 2, and then to the left, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and put a point there, and that will extend our line in the other direction. So this represents a line with a slope of two-thirds. Now we could also write another line with a slope of two-thirds. We could start it, say, from this point. We can count up one, two, and then over one, two, three. And we connect those two points, and you start to get another line over here with the same slope. Let's do it one more time, one, two, and then one, two, three and you end up getting a line that is parallel to the first. So lines with the same slope end up being parallel to one another. Now let's try a line with a negative slope. Let's say that we want to plot the line, or a line, we want to plot a line with a slope of negative 3 over 2. So we could start at the origin, and we could just count down in the y direction, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then in the positive direction, 1, 2. So this line segment starts to represent the line with a slope of negative 3 over 2. Now we could do another line with a slope of negative 3 over 2 over here. We could go down 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, 2. And as you can see, if we were to extend these lines, once again, lines with the same slope are parallel to one another. And another thing to note is if a line can be written in a positive form such as this, then it's going to have an increasing slope, meaning that its right side is always going to be higher on the y-axis than its left side. And if a slope is written in a negative form, such as this, it's always going to be decreasing, meaning that its right side is going to be lower on the y-axis than its left side. Now, don't be confused. This is not a negative slope, because it can be written as a positive number. If it can be written as a positive number, then it's not considered to be negative. This, on the other hand, can't be written as a positive number, so it's simply a negative slope. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned some little bit about some slopes here. And so if you've enjoyed my uh, tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Have a great day.